Hi and welcome to week 33 of World History 2. So this week we're going to unravel some of the most significant historical events of the 20th century. We'll delve into the tensions behind the Korean War, the causes and effects of the Vietnam War, the development of the Cold War, the consequences of decolonization in Asia and Africa, and the establishment of international organizations. Uh, so, first... Uh, we'll explore the tensions behind the Korean War and its outcome. The Korean War, which erupted in 1950, was rooted in geopolitical rivalry between the Communist North, backed by the Soviet Union and China, and the Capitalist South, supported by the United States and its allies. The conflict stemmed from the division of Korea following World War II and escalated into a bloody stalemate that lasted until 1953, when an armistice was signed. Despite the cessation of hostilities, Korea remained divided along the 38th parallel, setting the stage of decades of, of tension and conflict on the Korean peninsula. Then we'll turn on our attention to the causes and effects of the Vietnam War on the U.S., both domestically and globally. The Vietnam War, which spanned from 1955 to 1975, was fueled by Cold War ideologies and the desire to contain the spread of communism in Southeast Asia. The war deeply divided American society, sparking widespread protests and anti-war movements. Dom domestically, the war strained the, uh, strained the U.S. economy and eroded public trust in government institutions, leading to significant social and political upheaval. Globally, the Vietnam War reshaped geopolitical dynamics, impacting U.S. foreign policy and perceptions of American power for decades to come. Moving on, we'll explore the development and consequences of the Cold War, focusing on the ideological differences between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. The Cold War, a prolonged period of geopolitical tension between the two superpowers, was characterized by ideological, political, and military rivalry. The U.S. championed democracy, capitalism, and individual freedoms, while the Soviet Union advocated for socialism, communism, and state control. This ideological divide fueled proxy conflicts, arms races, and geopolitical maneuvering, shaping the course of global politics and diplomacy throughout the 20th century. Shifting gears, we'll evaluate the consequences of decolonization in Asia and Africa post-World War II. So the period following World War II witnessed the dismantling of European colonial empires, such as colonies in Asia and Africa, which gained independence and sovereignty. Decolonization brought about profound social, political, and economic changes, including the rise of new nation-states, cultural resurgence, and struggles for self-determination. However, decolonization also left behind legacies of ethnic tensions, economic dependency, and political instability, shaping the trajectories of newly independent nations in the post-colonial era. Finally, we'll investigate the establishment and evolution of international organizations. In the aftermath of World War II, the need for collective security and cooperation prompted the creation of institutions such as the United Nations, the International Monetary Fund, and World Bank. These organizations aim to promote peace, stability, and economic development on a global scale, fostering dialogue and collaboration among nations. Over time, international organizations have expanded their mandates and influence, grappling with new challenges such as climate change, global health crises, and economic inequality, reflecting the evolving dynamics of the international system. So I hope that you found this preview for the upcoming week to be fruitful. I look forward to working with you all in class. Thank you.